Hey everyone, how you guys doing today? Welcome to my guide on how to run GameCube and Wii games in the best quality possible at the best speeds, because Dolphin Emulator, which is a program used to run Wii and GameCube games, is much more optimized now, so now it's just an even better experience than it used to be. I just want to show you guys how to play them in their best speeds and resolutions yet. If you guys didn't know, Wii games are natively played at 480p, but on PC, you can go all the way up to 5K, which is 2880p, and that's way more than 480p, and it looks a lot more crisp too. Playing at high resolutions with HD texture packs is one of the best aspects of Dolphin. Although HD texture packs are necessary, it just makes the games look a lot better in general. You can play almost any game as if it was on the console itself, but just a much better experience really. It's more clean. And with many varieties of cheats, mods, and graphical settings, Dolphin is a beast for running Nintendo games. Dolphin is what I personally use to record my gameplay because of its exquisite quality. But before you install Dolphin, allow me to educate you on certain requirements and general questions on Dolphin Emulator. Alrighty you guys, now before we proceed to download and run the actual program, you should know the certain requirements and if you can actually run it or not. First we'll start with the operating systems, such as which ones are supported. Well, Dolphin is a cross-platform emulator that runs on Windows, Vista and Up, Linux, Mac OS X, Lion and Up, FreeBSD, and Android 5 and Up. For its ease of use and additional graphics backend options, Windows 7 64-bit or newer is recommended. I personally use Windows 8.1 64-bit because I find it the best. Now, the CPU or the central processing unit is the most important PC part for gaming on Dolphin. It's what tells your, you know, computer, it's, a, it's what actually tells you how much you can run Dolphin and if you can run it. Dolphin is a dual core application that relies upon IPC or instructions per clock for performance. Additional cores will not make Dolphin go any faster, however processor speed is what's important. 3.4 GHz is usually the best and optimal for the best speeds, though an extra core that Dolphin isn't using may help slightly by keeping back, uh, background tasks from using the same cores on Dolphin. Now then, let's talk about the certain processors and which one's better and which one's not, since they're different brandings and kinds. For Intel, newer core i5 and i7 processors such as the i5-4670K and i5-3570K are extremely fast and very affordable considering their relative power. The K series allows for overclocking, which can further improve their performance of the CPUs by raising the clock speeds. Core i7 variants yield almost no benefit in IPC or instructions per clock over the i5s they are based on. So if you're building a computer solely for Dolphin, I suggest that you buy an i5 so that you can save cash. For laptops, you can rely on an i7-4700MQ and i7-4930MX for the absolute best performance. Most games will run very well on any of these processors. For AMD, due to very low instructions per clock, AMD CPUs are poor choices for Dolphin. Even the FX8000 line of processors, which is the best they have, is not good enough to run it at the best speed and is only half as much as 4670K. Now then, now that we got G uh, CPU out of the way, let's talk about GPUs. Compared to processors, choosing a GPU for Dolphin is a fairly simple task. The more powerful the graphics card, the more pixels and enhancements you can throw at it before you'll see a slowdown. However, the biggest thing to watch out for is what the GPU supports, such as DirectX 11.1 and OpenGL 4.4. Since Dolphin emulates a console that functions very differently from a traditional PC and uses the latest D3D and OpenGL features to reduce overhead, if you do not have those extensions, performance will suffer. Now for NVIDIA, due to the importance of OpenGL extension buffer storage, no NVIDIA GPU before the GeForce 4XX series can be recommended. Despite being a bit old, the GeForce GTX 460 will handle almost any game you throw at it, even in HD resolutions. Older NVIDIA cards will not be good enough and cause slowdowns. For AMD, unlike the processor battle, it's better, generally, depending on the model. AMD graphics cards handle gaming very well, 
As of Revision 4.0.1192, AMD video card C boosts around the board because of its addition of integer math. As such, the AMD HD 5770 should run most games at maximum resolutions. The Intel Onboard series is highly unrecommended. The Intel HD 3000 and 4000s can run Dolphin at reasonable speeds at low settings, so it's generally not recommended. As for RAM, 2GB is generally recommended for Dolphin, but more won't hurt, it's generally better. Alright guys, now that we know what's needed to run Dolphin Emulator, let's check our system to see if we meet the requirements to actually run the program. Start by going to your start and typing in system information. Now here you can see everything, your system type, 64-bit, which is required, your operating system, your process, your <laughs> processor, yeah, everything's here, your RAM, um, and if you want to see which graphics card you have or if you have one, go to your components, click display, and it'll tell you, should say the name of your graphics card. Alright. Now that we check to see if, our, if we're golden, let's start downloading the appropriate software for Dolphin. The first thing you need is 7-Zip. Start by going to your favorite browser, I prefer Chrome, and type in 7-Zip. This is the best software because it just extracts things the fastest. In my opinion, it's even better than WinRAR. Alright, now you're going to want to download the 64-bit version since that's a version, that's a version you need. <laughs> Alright. Start by clicking download. Once it's downloaded, click on it. Click OK. Click install. It's going to make you restart it apparently, so I'm not going to do that, but you're going to have to do that. After you've restarted your computer, you're going to want to install your DirectX and C runtimes as they're crucial for starting Dolphin. Start by searching in Chrome DirectX. And yeah, it should say download DirectX and user runtime. Perfect. After that's loaded, you're going to want to download it. And you don't have to download all the recommendations. It's just kind of junk, you know. Alrighty. And if it doesn't automatically start, you're just going to want to click here. And there we go. Just going to click on it and proceed to set it up. Yes, please. Alright, I accept. Uncheck this again, just more random junk. I swear, all the extra bloatware. It's just unneeded crap for your computer. Alright, it was nice and quick. Next, what you're going to want to want, what you're going to want to want, what you need is the latest runtime, the Visual C++ I believe it's called. So go ahead and search Microsoft C++. Crap. There we go. And there we go. Nice and high up on the top. And perfect. You got it. You're going to want to get the 64-bit version. Click Next. And go ahead and click here, and click here again. There we go. Perfect. You're going to want to check I agree. Click install. Yes. I think this takes a bit of a while actually. I think this is much longer than the DirectX. Come on, come on. Oh, perfect. It wasn't that bad. Alright. So now that we got the proper software, let's get Dolphin. I generally recommend installing the latest development versions for the best speeds and optimization since the latest stable version 4.0.2 is not nearly as fast. Dolphin has gotten a major speed boost, guys. Much faster than it used to be. So you're going to want to just search Dolphin in Google. And you want to click on Dolphin Emulator, GameCube, and Wii games on PC. And yeah, just going to want to click this since it's the latest revision. Click Windows X64. Sadly, 32-bit is not supported. All right. All 
Alright, we're done. Now that that's downloaded, you want to hit the extract. And yeah, go ahead extracting the downloads or wherever you want. Perfect. Should be there in there in the downloads. Click Dolphin X64. Double click on Dolphin. Oh, I recommend um, right clicking on it. Clicking Properties. Compatibility. Check run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 8 or whichever operating system you have because generally it prevents some crashings and just random errors. You're also going to want to check run this program as an administrator. Click apply. Click OK. Just generally for better performance. Alright, now that we have the program, let's go ahead and configure it for the best performance. Let's go to config. Alright, everything here should be left at default. I usually just uncheck the on-screen display messages because it just gets in the way of gaming. It's not really all that important, but you can keep it checked if you want. And also another personal preference is a blue theme, just a bit prettier. Audio should be kept as default. Uh, I guess that's from default. Keep that default. Yep, everything is good here. For the graphics, depending on your GPU and everything, um, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, go ahead and use OpenGL. But if your computer is a little slower, use Direct3D as it's generally faster. Since I have an NVIDIA card, I'll use OpenGL. Full screen resolution should be kept at auto. Aspect ratio should be kept at auto as well. VSync should be checked. Use full screen should be unchecked. You could just click Alt Enter to go into full screen, usually better for performance. And if you want, you can show the FPS or frames per second, which allows you to see how fast your game is. Some games are 60 FPS, some are 30 FPS, just gives you a little heads up. I usually like to hide my mouse cursor so it doesn't get in the way. And we're all good here. Let's get these settings down. For enhancements, again, it depends on how fast your system is, particularly a graphics card. Um, I'd say start at, if you have a decent graphics card, start at at least two times and play the game and work your way up to whichever is the best speeds. Alright, so I'll just keep mine at around 6. Anti-aliasing, again, just same concept, you're going to want to just go on the Lotus and keep going higher to wherever it is best, and same concept for any isotropic filtering or whatever it's called. As for these, you're going to want to keep this checked, and I would generally check force texture filtering, and if you got a pretty good graphics card, I would check per pixel lighting as well. Alrighty, that's the enhancements tab. For hacks, Generally, depending on the game, you could check this for a speed boost. You can see the properties of the game if you should leave it checked or not, but I generally have this checked, but it does break some games, so you should watch out to see if it tampers with anything or not. Accuracy should be left on fast, and you can leave these um, at default, actually. Yeah, it's fine. Advanced. Yep, everything's perfect here. And there we go. You also have the options of connecting a controller if you don't like keyboard and mouse. For GameCube, you could just click standard controller, configure, and you could hook up a wireless controller, Bluetooth, or USB. Generally, every um, every gamepad works, actually, or controller. With Wii Remote, you could have an emulated Wii Remote with your keyboard, or you can connect a real one using Bluetooth if your computer has Bluetooth. I generally prefer to play with Wii Remotes or GameCube because I don't like keyboards that much. I mean, it's alright. I've actually gotten used to it, but I still prefer the original ways, plus it's more console-like. Alrighty. Well, the whole software is all ready and set. Now, finally, we need the games, and you must be wondering, where can I download the ISOs or ROMs? Well, the short answer is, you just don't. I mean, you have to buy your games, and using software, you can dump them. But, you can also download games online, but it's illegal and strongly frowned upon by Dolphin. And I personally don't do it unless I own the game. To prevent legal issues, it is advised you don't download the game unless you own it, like me. I download my games online, but I own every game I download. But if you want to download games and you don't own it, that's on you. I don't judge. You could just search online for the ISO and it should be somewhere. I'm not going to provide the links though. You don't necessarily need to own a gaming console yourself either to just dump the game. You can just buy a game disc and dump it with your friend's console. But on the other hand, that's also illegal, but I guess it's better than just downloading the game like that. Alright, 
Now finally, after you have the games, we have, we have everything we need to start Dolphin, really. Just hit the play button after clicking on your game and you're all set. Everything's good. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. I really hope you enjoyed. And the games are fun to play, especially at the better resolutions and more variety, really. You can do so much more. If you need to know how to get HD texture packs, please don't be hesitant to ask. Thanks for watching, and as always, people, have a great day.